it certainly looked like we're going to get a friendlier, tighter alignment between the U.S. and South Korea, given what we saw over the weekend. What was your overall assessment? Is it fair to say that there was this quid pro quo, South Korea offering chips, technologies, batteries, and of course that there was the big Hyundai Motor investment in the United States, and we've got security guarantees coming through from Washington? Yeah, I mean, I think it was a very important and a very good summit. As you said, the two messages coming out of it were about deterrence on the security side with regard to North Korea and China. Uh, and then on the economic side, it was entirely about economic security and supply chains. President Biden you know, visited the Samsung uh, plant, which is the model for the plant that Samsung is going to build in Texas. Uh, there was a big Hyundai, Motors, uh, Hyundai announcement about batteries. There was also talk about a ministerial level dialogue on economic security issues between the United States and South Korea, and also possibly including Japan. As you said, a lot of talk about trilateralism, U.S., Japan, Korea, during the summit and in the joint statement. Um, so they're very focused on improving the relationship between Seoul and Tokyo and trilateral relations for security reasons, but also for economic security reasons. So what's the thinking behind South Korea joining the IPEF, but at the same time the U.S. not inviting South Korea to the Quad? As you previewed in the lead up to this summit this weekend, South Korea has much to offer. How should we understand the, the discrepancy between the economic framework and the security framework? So in terms of the Quad, you know, I think the new government in South Korea has been pretty clear they're interested in joining. The opposition to, the, to Korea's joining the Quad is not coming from the United States. It's coming from Japan at the moment. Uh, in the joint statement, uh, Biden welcomed South Korea's interest in the Quad. So I think they laid down a marker there with regard to Korea's interest. And Biden also said that he knows Korea has a lot to contribute to the Quad. But I think it's just a matter of time. Obviously, all four countries, the U.S., India, Australia, and Japan, have to accept the expansion of the membership of the Quad, and it's still in its early stages. On IPEF, you know, I think it's good and important that Korea has said that it wants to join. When it, This is going to be a group of about a dozen countries that I think will join this framework. It's not really an alternative to the CPTPP. I think it's in addition to and complementary to it, again, with the focus being on supply chains, and sort of transparent economic and investment relations among these like-minded countries. 